Hello, hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football Update Show. Uh, we've got a great AFC, I mean, NFC East matchup, and we've got the Giants and uh, Eagles scoring off right now at uh, Lincoln Financial Village. 14-10 Giants in the third quarter. Uh, the uh, I believe the uh, <coughs> Eagles have the ball. Uh, I'll get my thoughts, but I think it's going to get the win. Uh, but first, uh, here is today's Scott Sports 101. There's enough football trivia question. Which Eagle quarterback threw for 465 yards in one game, setting a team record? I'll have the answer later on the podcast. Well, it's Thursday Night Football Week 7, as I said. And we and it's a great AFC, I mean, NFC matchup, excuse me, tonight. The uh, New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles are scoring off right now. And look at Financial Field in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's 14-10 Giants, as I said. And uh, the NFC is the worst division in football. Not just this year, but in quite some time. Lucky for us, the division is being featured in prime time for the second time this week. As our regularly scheduled Thursday night football game features the 1 and 5 New York Giants traveling to Lincoln Financial Field to take on the 1 1 4 and 1 Philadelphia Eagles. I'll get right to the point and let's break down the matchup. The Giants are coming off a uh, 1 point win over the Washington football team last week, and it would be a lie to say that it was difficult to see the Giants' offensive regression coming. The Giants added two significant offensive uh, uh, pieces during the 2020 offseason. Rookie left tackle Andrew Thomas and offensive coordinator Jason Garrett. Uh, Thomas figured to be an improvement over incumbent starter Nate Nate Solder, who opted out out of the season. But Garrett was just a bad hire. Uh, uh, he he had not called plays in seven years, as the uh, as the uh, fast time he did as the last time he did. Excuse me. He could not field a top ten offense, despite having Tony Romo, Des Bryant, Miles Austin, Jim, Jason Witten, and Demarco Murray on the roster. His philosophy is uh, retrograde as. Uh, as he proudly uh, stated that he uh, runs his his uh, his offense like the like the North Turner coord- like like the North like the North Turner coordinated Dallas Cowboys team he once played for during the 1990s. Thomas had instead not been an upgrade uh, over Soldier. Uh, struggling badly for the first uh, five games of this year before being benched for disciplinary reasons last week. Garrett has not uh, put any of his players in position to succeed from Saquon Barkley. Being run uh, right into the line prior to his injury, the receivers running uh, routes directly to the uh, sticks and uh, turning around to where uh, 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 Uber uh, Uber Athletic tight end uh, Evan Ingram having the lowest average depth of target among every tight end in the league. Uh, to uh, Daniel Jones being asked to throw in far too many b- bad down and distant situations due to the team's conservative play calling uh, tendencies. As a result, New York has scored 20 or fewer points in five or six games with the uh, only exception being the game against Dallas where they had both a defensive touchdown and a drive that started on the Dallas 17-yard line in a, in a, in a league where uh, teams are averaging 368.3 yards per game. The Giants have Yet to top 300 in any contest. They rank 31st in total yards, 31st in points, and 32nd in efficiency 
for football uh, outsiders uh, D DVOA with bottom five units in both pass 29th and run 30th. Now, I feel the Giants uh, really need to uh, improve uh, uh, dramatically, and they need to get over 300 yards in, in several of their games. And uh, But they're up 14 10 right now, but I think Philly's going to get the win tonight. And meanwhile, the Eagles are coming up a two-point uh, loss to the Baltimore Ravens last week uh, on their home field at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. Uh, Philly needs to really learn to beat Baltimore as well. Now, I got to tell you, Philly looked good, but they just could not get that go. They just could not get over the hurdle to win the game last week. But they they, they kept it close between the uh, between them and the Ravens. Uh, well, I got it, and I feel that uh, that they uh, really, I feel they need to really, uh, if they want to win this game tonight, they really need to do a, uh, a, real, a much better performance than what they did last week. So, uh, I got to I really feel this is going to be one of those games. It's not going to be too high scoring, but it will be semi high scoring. Not very high, though. Uh, but um, I am picking the Philadelphia Eagles to win tonight's game. That's my pick for this one. And my brother-in-law has as well, so... Uh, so we'll see how the, that out, what the outcome is tonight in this game. Uh, I'll get back to talking more about the game in uh, just a moment. But right now, it's time to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 uh, Thursday Night Football Trivia Question. Which Eagle quarterback threw for 464 yards in one game setting a team in one game setting a team record? If you said Donovan McNabb, you are correct. McNabb's big day was against the Green Bay Packers on December 12, 2004. The Eagles won 47 to 17 at Lincoln Financial Field. Randall Cunningham set, a, set the previous mark at 447 yards in a win against the Redskins in 1989 and i will have another trivia question on my next podcast so uh stay tuned for that but yeah i feel that uh the uh eagles are going to get the win this game tonight and because i just i don't see the giants being philadelphia at home and they have been struggling and i think philly is going to get the win and go to two four and one and the uh The uh, Giants will go to uh, one and six. I'll fall to it, but I just I feel this is going to be a close game. Though it will not be a blowout, a blowout by any means. I just feel it will be a close game tonight between the uh, Giants and the uh, Eagles. Now, uh, as you look back at this team, this Eagles team has struggled, and uh, they're they're. Uh, so their defense has been quite weak at times, but their offense has improved. And uh, I really feel the defense needs to really step it up if they want to win this game tonight. So I feel really this is what needs to happen. They really need to uh, keep the uh, Giants from scoring in the pocket and uh, uh, keep uh, Eli Manning out of the pocket from, and keep him out of the zone. And the Giants, they need... To uh, keep uh, Carson Wentz out of the pocket from scoring, I need to keep to put the pressure on uh, uh, Philly's offense and defense as well. So, but I think if Philly uh, can could do that, I think they will get the win tonight, and I think they will. So, uh, that's what I, that's just my uh, my uh, prediction that Philly is going to get the win in this game tonight. So. Uh, we will see what happens, and um, I'll be back with the Thursday night uh, football uh, post-game show uh, once the game is concluded or sometime tomorrow I will do it. So that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101 Thursday night football uh, pre-game show, well, pre-game update show. Uh, but uh, And I'll see you for the Scott Sports 101 Thursday night football post game show either tonight or tomorrow. But until then, always remember, be a team player, 
each and every day, and every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.